Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today's video is going to be on the Meguiar's Professional Pro Speed M200 Polish. This is a polish that boasts a long cycle time or open time, meaning you can do many passes before it starts to dry out, break down, and break down the abrasives. Um, with a long cycle time or open time, that normally means there's not going to be a lot of dusting. It's going to be easy to wipe off. It's going to be more of an oily polish. Um, it is made for softer finishes, so it's going to have a low cut, meaning it's not going to be very aggressive which is a good thing. So this may be something that is excellent for an enhancement, maybe a one step or to finish down or make it that third step right before protection. Let's get into the video. Again, the Meguiar's Pro Speed M200 Professional Polish. The Meguiar's Pro Speed 200 best teamed up with a light polishing pad. It does have a low cut, 32 ounces. Well, I've seen price ranges from $21.79 up to $29 for the 32 ounces. Can be teamed up with any type of polisher, so it's versatile. That means rotary, long throw polisher, short throw polisher. You can even do it by hand. Let's get it on a test panel. We'll also try it on a black, softer finish. See how it performs. On the GLE 450 here, let's go to the back door. Using the swirl finder, we'll see it's in pretty good shape. A little bit hazy. We're going to run the polisher over this area and if this was an overly aggressive polish you would see some hazing left behind. Let's clear this up a little bit and see how it performs on this soft dark finish. Now uh, Meguiar's has their own fine polishing pad but you can also use the Lake Country fine polishing pad or something like the Rupees um, fine polishing pad, they have one as well. Three marble size drops onto the pad. Just a crisscross pattern. Sequel to two passes. And it does wipe off super easy. Okay. What we don't want to see is any type of hazing left over. Panel prep as well. So there's no residue. And this can be a bit of a finicky surface. So, okay, nice and clear. Nice, it didn't make it hazy. Let me grab you guys and bring you in a little bit closer. You can use the swirl finder here. Still looking good, freshened up a bit. All right, let's get over to the test panel. We have a test panel over here. We're gonna scuff it up a bit. And now that we know, well, at least it won't make a panel any worse, how much improvement can we get on the panel? Let me grab some sandpaper. Okay, so over on the test panel, we have the Pro Speed. We're gonna team it up with a Eurofiber 5050 pad. This clear is a little bit more stubborn, a little bit more hard, tenacious. First, we're going to scuff it up with 2500 grit, mask off a little area, and see what type of correction we're capable of. 
and we will overwork it a bit. We'll do many passes to see if we can get it to uh, flash or dry out and dust. All right, let's get this off here. Anytime I'm going to be doing any type of sanding in the shop, it's always going to be wet sanding. Wet sanding keeps the dust under control. Depending on your environment and what you do, that could be important. So let's get some 2500 grit sand mark scuffs on this hood. Just haze it up a bit. Nothing really crazy. It's not going to have crazy correction abilities. It's going to be more or less to freshen up. And maybe you do a paint enhancement or maybe the last step of your correction to bring out some clarity. But we'll also see here what it can do. Let me dry this off. That will do. Get you guys off the stand here. See what we're looking at. So as you can see, we have sand marks all the way across the hood. So let's mask off an area and do some correction. Yeah, something this size should do. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. This is the area we're going to be correcting. You can see the sand marks within and outside. All right, gave you a good angle with the light. You can see the swirls inside here. We got the Eurofiber 5050 pad, one of my favorite pads. As I mentioned before in an earlier video, my only trouble with the pads is delaminating with heat, and that starts here and sometimes outside. Other than that, I love these pads. Let's spread out the product. Okay, after two passes, which is a crisscross pattern up and down, left and right, it's not dried out. We can continue if we'd like to. Let's do another pass. Okay, all right, at this point, the panel's starting to heat up, it's drying out a bit, it's done. No dusting though, no dusting whatsoever, so that's a good sign. Let me wipe off the residue, the remaining residue. We'll also bring a panel prep over here. Make sure there's no residue hiding the results or f any fillers. Wipe this off good, then we'll remove the masking tape. Then 
Now there were some deeper sand marks that I have made for other testing videos here and here that were with 800, 600 grit. I never expected it to remove those, but it did a fantastic job inside this area. Let me get the swirl finder. As we can see, it's a, an absolute mess. Up here, cleared it up. You have that gorgeous metallic paint coming through. And just a couple sand marks here and there that are the real deep ones. But we go from that to that with a long cycle time, no dusting. It does what it says it's supposed to do, guys. I normally stay away from the M100, M200, uh, 105. I'm not even sure of the numbers anymore. It's been a long time because of the dusting. This does not have that problem, and I highly recommend. Okay, guys, so we've put it through its paces for softer, um, thin paints, water-based paints. As we saw in the Mercedes, it will not rough it up and haze it up. Now, this is going to be dependent on the pad that you team this up with. That's going to be very important, and that's going to depend on the surface you're working on. But it is a great finisher. Uh, it would be great for enhancements, great for driveway detailers, enthusiasts, professionals that want to get a nice finish uh, for that second or third step. Did everything that it advertises to do. Very pleased. Again, this is the M200 Professional Polish from Meguiar's. You can grab this detailed image I'm sure it should be on Amazon by now. There won't be a link down below. It's not a sponsored video. There's no affiliate links, but it's easy to find and highly recommended. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.